Do your games feel laggy, even when your FPS looks fine? Is your aim just not as sharp as it used to be? It might not be your skills. It could be your mouse settings holding you back. Today, I'm going to walk you through the ultimate mouse optimization guide for Windows, covering everything from system tweaks to in-game settings that can drastically improve your aim, reduce input lag, and make your mouse feel more responsive. Whether you're a casual gamer or grinding competitive matches, this guide will help make your mouse feel more accurate, snappy, and consistent. Step 1. Fix Windows Mouse Acceleration and Pointer Precision Let's start with something that might seem small, but can have a huge impact on how your mouse feels, especially in games. By default, Windows adds a feature called Pointer Precision, which sounds helpful, but it's actually a form of mouse acceleration. That means the faster you move your mouse, the farther the pointer travels. Not ideal for accuracy, especially in gaming or creative work. Here's how to turn it off the right way. Click the Start menu and type Mouse Settings. In the Mouse Settings window, click Additional Mouse Options. This will open a smaller window labeled Mouse Properties. Go to the Pointer Options tab. Uncheck the box that says Enhance Pointer Precision. This is what introduces mouse acceleration. Turning it off gives you raw, consistent input. Next, check the pointer speed slider. Set it to the 6 notch from the left. Why 6? That's the default 1 to 1 input setting, meaning your mouse movements stay consistent and unmodified. Click Apply, then OK to save. Step 2. Apply the Mark C Mouse Fix. Optional but highly recommended. If you want true raw input with zero hidden acceleration, this step takes things to the next level. Even after disabling pointer precision in Windows, there's still a layer of invisible mouse acceleration built into the system, especially noticeable if you play competitive games or work in precision-sensitive apps. That's where the Mark C Mouse Fix comes in. This tool has been trusted for years in the gaming and esports community because it removes that last bit of sneaky acceleration that Windows applies behind the scenes. How to install it? Download the Mark C Mouse Fix zip file. You'll find the link in the video description, or you can search for it online. Once downloaded, extract the zip file to an easy-to-access location like your desktop. Open the folder that matches your version of Windows, for example, Windows 11. But here's where it gets important. Pick the right file based on screen scaling. Mark C provides different registry files based on your screen's DPI scaling setting, 100%, 125%, 150%, etc. To find yours, right-click on the desktop, Select Display Settings. Under Scale and Layout, check what percentage your display is set to. Apply the fix. Once you know your scaling, open the correct subfolder, double-click the corresponding .reg file, click Run, then approve all the pop-ups with Yes or OK. This will apply a registry tweak that neutralizes Windows' hidden acceleration layer and ensures your mouse is giving you true one-to-one -one raw input. No curve, no prediction, just clean movement. Step 3. Plug in your mouse correctly and remove USB bottlenecks before diving into software or drivers. Use USB 3.0 or 3.1 if your mouse supports it. Check the specs. Unplug unnecessary USB devices while gaming, especially on budget PCs, so your USB bus isn't overloaded. Use a direct motherboard port, not a hub or front panel USB for best performance. Step 4. Registry tweaks for lower input latency and faster game response. If you're comfortable going a little deeper under the hood, this step is where you can squeeze out extra responsiveness, especially helpful for gamers or anyone sensitive to input lag. But before we touch anything in the Windows registry, backing up your system is a must. Registry changes are powerful, and a restore point makes it easy to roll back just in case. First, create a system restore point. Safety first. Click Start and type Create a Restore Point. Select your C drive from the list, then click Configure. Make sure Turn On System Protection is selected. Set the max usage to around 5%. This gives Windows room to create backups. Click Apply, then OK. Now click Create, give it a name like Mouse Tweak Backup, and let it finish. This ensures that if something goes wrong, you can undo everything with just... Now, tweak registry settings for better game performance. Press Start, type Regedit, and open Registry Editor. Navigate to the following path. In the right panel, Double-click on the key called System Responsiveness. Change its value to 1, then click OK. This tells Windows to give real-time applications, like games or live editing software, more CPU time instead of background services. Now go even deeper. Head to this location inside the registry and make the following edits 
Double-click each entry to change its value. GPU Priority 8, Priority 6, Scheduling Category High, SFIO Priority High. These tweaks signal to Windows that gaming processes should be prioritized when it comes to system resources like CPU and GPU usage. Step 5. Disable full-screen optimizations for smoother gameplay. Next up, we're dialing in better input response and reducing micro stutter during full screen gameplay. By default, Windows applies something called full screen optimizations to most games and apps, but this feature can sometimes introduce lag, frame pacing issues, or interfere with your game's natural full screen behavior. Disabling it can often lead to more stable frame times and lower input latency, especially in competitive games like Valorant. How to disable full screen optimizations per game. Find your game's install folder. You can also right-click the game shortcut, open file location, right-click the main.exe file. This is the file that launches the game. Choose properties. Go to the compatibility tab. Check the box next to disable full screen optimizations, then click change high DPI settings under high DPI scaling override. Check. Override high DPI scaling behavior. Step 6. Install ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. If you're noticing random FPS drops, inconsistent latency, or sluggish performance after long gaming sessions, this tool can make a real difference, especially if your system has less than 16 gigabytes of RAM. ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, is a lightweight utility designed to automatically flush cached memory, called the standby list, and maintain low input latency. It's widely used by competitive gamers and streamers for smoother, more consistent gameplay. How to download and set it up? Download ISLC from the official site. Link is in the video description. Once downloaded, extract the zip file to your desktop or a tools folder. Open the program by running ISLC.exe. You may need to right-click Run as Administrator, Optimal Settings for Performance. Inside ISLC, configure it like this. List size is at least 1024. This tells the tool to clear the standby memory if the cached list grows too large. Free memory is lower than half of your total RAM, e.g. if you have 16 gigabytes, type 8192. Wanted timer resolution, 0.50. This ensures consistent low latency scheduling for better responsiveness. Check enable custom timer resolution. Final steps, click start. This activates the standby list monitoring in the background. Then click minimize. It'll sit quietly in your system tray. You can now either let it auto-clean in the background or manually trigger a memory clear whenever needed. It's especially useful if you leave games open for long sessions or multitask with apps like Chrome or OBS. Mouse settings in-game. Disable the following if available. Mouse acceleration, mouse filtering, mouse smoothing. These settings introduce delay or interpolation. For raw input, turn them all off. Final step, and now restart your system. This ensures all registry edits, software installs, and configurations are properly applied. That wraps up the full 2025 Ultimate Mouse Optimization Guide. From registry tweaks to in-game settings, these steps are designed to help you get the snappiest, most responsive mouse experience possible. If this video helped you, consider giving it a like, and let us know what mouse you're using in your results in the comments. Thanks for watching, happy gaming, and good luck.